Hello, pretty people. Today I wanted to take you guys along with me while I do my IBD study. So um, let's hop to. I've already got it pulled up on here. And I guess while I get started, I can explain to you guys what is an IBD study. So, uh, hi Hershey, hi my honey. I have Crohn's disease. I've had it since I was about 10 years old. And the treatment that I'm on is kind of experimental. They're doing studies on it right now actively. And I'm one of the test subjects. Um, and I have been since I was 10 years old. So that's a lot of fun. But what I have to do is every, it's every six months now, I've got to answer a few questions about how my body is doing, how the treatment's working. And they give me a little gift card for doing it. So that's exciting stuff. You're really furry. All right, so it just asked me for my birthday, height, and weight. We just finished that. How has my overall health been in the past six months? Uh, as compared to six months before that, I would say good. As compared to a standard healthy person, I would say poor. So we'll say fair. That's like right in the middle. Since the last registry evaluation, has Emily been diagnosed with a serious infection? No. Since the last evaluation, have I been diagnosed or treated for tuberculosis? No. Has Emily taken any of the following medications as treatments for her IBD? Kate started for the first time during the past six months. No, I've been doing that since I was 10. Am I still taking it? Yes. How often? It's every six weeks. That is something I wanted to mention. Um, being diseased. <laughs> every, like, it used to be every four weeks they moved it to six, then they moved it to eight. We're back down to six. But every six-ish weeks I have to go get an infusion. That is when they stick a needle in you and it stays there for three hours while you just sit there and it drains the life from your body uh but it gives you the health that you need to not die for the next six weeks so woohoo chronic illness um i don't know what my dosage is Oop. date of the first infusion during the past six months y'all gonna make me open my calendar I will say that with doing these like research studies, I love getting a little gift card. I mean, they've been giving me little gift cards for doing this since I was a kid. Um, and you know, being super poor, of course I love free money, but also I hate feeling like a lab rat. Hate it, have always hated it. Um, and it's not just in this regard that I feel like a rat lab rat, like it's kind of everything with my health, um, <laughs> there's not much known about Crohn's disease, which is stupid because it's not that uncommon. I mean, it is considered rare, but it's not, it's not. Um, but yeah, it just never gets better. It only gets harder. Um, and that sucks. And so that like 40 to a hundred dollars that I get for answering the question feels a lot less worth it, but it's better than getting nothing and still doing this. Cause it's not like I can stop. Anyways, six months ago, my first infusion was... Sorry, um, the reason that got me so overwhelmed is because exactly six months ago, which was the time that it was asking me for, was when I was dealing with the one of the biggest flares of my life. Um, it was when I was dealing with the tail end of it, so it started a, a lot before that, but basically my lymph nodes started swelling in my neck and I couldn't move them. Um, eventually it got so big that I, co I couldn't move my neck at all. Um, and it was causing other weird reactions, like I would be head to toe in rash, like burning, blistering rashes. I would be leaking stuff out of my eyes and my head. Eventually, I, it was psoriasis on my scalp. I didn't know it at the time, but that liquid seeping out, like, would dry up. And eventually all my hair started to fall out when I shaved off the rest of it. It looked like cheetah print underneath there. It was just really, really bad and I felt really, really disgusting. And it was gone for a little while after a lot of treatment. And then fast forward to six months ago, it came back. 
um, and that was really scary. And so I had to go get like a CT scan and some biopsies and all this sort of annoying stuff, which just makes me feel like a test monkey or sorry, a lab rat. Um, but it, it uh, sucked and having to go back through my calendar to find the day of my infusion, but seeing nothing but like CT scan, ultrasound, blah, 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 all these stupid things I had to do stressed me out. <laughs> and I was already not feeling good before this. Date of my last infusion. Ooh, you're going back into the calendar and I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry. Oh, that is so annoying. They're making me go through my charts and stuff to find out uh, exactly the dosage of medicine that I get, which is really annoying. When I was a kid and doing this, most of the work was done for me, as in, um, they would just ask me a few questions and they would use my test results to answer the rest themselves. But now that I'm an adult, I have to do it myself completely. All right, now it's just saying that I'm finished. Click the finish button to submit. Done deed. All right, friends. Thank you so much for watching me do that. At least I'm gonna get some an Amazon gift card out of it. Yay, bye.